In this short video, I'm going to show you exactly what GTM Bot can do. It's designed for digital marketers who frequently have to set up Google Tag Manager containers for their clients and want to do it in the fastest possible way. So let's get started. First of all, we select what we want to track. Now, uh, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to say I want to record page views um, and various other things, such as when an outbound link is clicked, when a form is submitted. I try to include as many of the standard things which people like to track as possible. As well as AdWords, I'm going to track some AdWords conversions and some Facebook conversions as well. So once we're ready, we choose which account and which container we want to install this in. Hit Validate, and this will bring back uh, a result saying that the container is suitable. Next up, we enter some options that are specific to our site. So if my thank you page for my email marketing sign up is that, then I would just change that. Uh, the rest of the options we keep pretty similar. Um, obviously, I could change if I was doing this on a pretend site called impressiveself.com. I'd put in the domain there. I'm in the UK, so I'd change that. And I'd put in my live and my dev tracking IDs as well. Uh, you can configure all of these as, as you want, but I will leave them all for the moment as the default. Next up, uh, we get a summary of all the things that GTM Bot is going to install. So here are all the variables, here are all the triggers, here are all the tags, along with details about what each one of them does. For example, we're going to install this tag so that when someone clicks an email link, uh, we get this event in Google Analytics. So let's hit start. And uh, GTM bot now goes away. It creates a new workspace for you to work in within this container. And you can see it's going through and it's installing all the variables that we need. And now it's moving on to all the triggers that we need. And finally, it will get on to the tags. Now you can imagine if you had to do this by hand to set up all these things, that would take quite a long time. Um, probably a couple of hours if you're quick and you know what you're doing. But uh, that adds up, especially when you're working on multiple clients. So there we go, it's all done. You get some documentation. So we've got a list of requirements we need. Things like uh, all email links need to be prefixed with mail to because we've set up our triggers to work on that basis. We get a list of variables that we've set up um, and also a list of all the variables, tags and triggers and what they do. But let's go and have a look at the container so I'm going to load it up and you can see, here we go, we've got all the tags added. All in there. They're all configured to work to work perfectly well. So for example, the email link clicked event, you can see it's, uh, it's all set up correctly and it triggers on this email, uh, the clicked email link trigger and it's the click URL starts with mail to. So everything is set up and easy to use and you can then go through and change things you want. Um, because of the way GTM bots set up, these all should be accurate. So you can see GBP has been inserted for my currency code uh, because that's what I set it to. Um, but you can go and switch on various other ones of these. So if you want to anonymize IPs, I could change this to true and so on and so forth. But that is essentially it. You've now got a fully working GTM implementation in under a couple of minutes.